Okay, question three. Find the equivalence capacitance between points A and B for this group of capacitors. Uh, C1 will be five microfarad. C2 will be 10 microfarad. C3 is two microfarad. All right, so let's figure out that one first. I'm gonna make some simplifications here. I see a couple that are in series with each other. And I also can see one that's in parallel. Okay, so those should kind of come out that I can take and I can separate these using that little two cut rule. I can separate them out and take them out and simplify them down. So I'm actually gonna do all three of these connections all at once. Okay. So A will remain at the top. It will now come down. I'm gonna combine those into one capacitor. I'm going to have one capacitor left here in the middle, C3, and I'm going to have another capacitor made up of these ones. That's all going to come down, and these two I'm also going to make up into one, and that'll be part B. So now I just have to figure out what I'm going to do with all these. So C1 and C2 were in series with each other, okay? So C1 and C2 is 5 microfarad and 10 microfarad. Okay. Which means for this one, I'll just draw them up here. I'm going to have the inverse of 1 fifth plus 1 tenth to the negative first. Okay. Or what that means is I could do this as 2 tenths plus 1 tenth gives me 3 tenths. Flip it over and I'll get 10 over 3. Okay, so this first one is 10 thirds. The middle one is a C3. C3 never changed, that's just a two. Okay, so two microfarad in there. And this last one is another C1, C2. So this is also 10 over three. That's all in microfarad. I'm just not, to save space, I'm not writing the microfarad out. Uh, this one makes it nice and easy. This is a parallel circuit, so C2 and a C2. They're each 10, which makes this bottom one a 20. Okay. Now I can simplify that down. I see that I actually have one, two, three of them all in parallel. So I can combine that and just make it into one. And then I'll have to leave this one alone for now until I figure that one out. So these being all in parallel, I just add them up. And I'll get, uh, I'll get two microfarad plus the 20 over three. Okay. Or you can think of as uh, 20 over three plus an additional six over three. If I want to do fractionals. And that'll give you 26 over three. Okay, 26 over three. And this one on the bottom here is still just 20. That one's just hanging out for us. Okay. Now my last step here now, I can combine. I just have these two. I can just combine those into one. Okay. And they are in series. Okay, so in series they gotta get uh, flipped over, we're going to have 3 over 26, because it'll be the inverse of this, plus 1 over 20 to the negative first. Okay. Uh, calculator can easily do that. When we do that out, you'll get 6.05 microfarad, because we were in microfarad the entire time. And that's where you get your answer up here of 6.05. You can, of course, put these in decimals right from the get-go. If you'd like, I like to leave them in fractions. It makes the flipping over a little easier to do on your in your head. But absolutely, you can use your calculator throughout the whole thing. Part B of this says, what charge is stored on C3 if the potential difference between points A and B is 60 volts? Okay, so now I know this was the capacitance. I now know this is 60 volts. And what I don't know is Q. Okay, so we can take our C is equal to Q over V. Okay. 
and we can solve for Q. Q is just going to be C times V. So when we do C times V, we should get 362.8. And this is in microcoulombs because we keep micro for all of it. And then we have to work backward, going back into these. Okay, So we take this charge, and we see that this charge came from something being in series, which means the Q is the same on both of these. Now, I don't really care too much on the 20 because I know that that 20 came from combining these. I'm not interested in that. I want to go back to the C3. So I'm only interested on the first one. I know that that was the capacitance that I had found based on that, and I know that this Q will transfer up there. Now the only thing I have left to find on this is voltage. So if I bring voltage over, I have to bring capacitance back. Voltage will be Q over C. Okay. So voltage on that uh, is going to be the Q divided by C. We'll end up getting a term of 41.86 volts. 41.86 volts should be in the calculator. This came from these. And there's my Q3, what I'm looking for. Okay, so these being all in parallel with each other means they'll all have the same V, which means this C3 capacitor, C3 was two microfarad. Okay, I know that the voltage on that C3 will be 41.86. And now I'm looking for Q. Okay. Q is going to be C times V, so just this times 2, and that's how we're getting the 83.7 roughly microcoulombs that's in solution for part B. Now likewise I could have asked for any of these on here, and you just do this backwards method of stepping back through the problem to get to what you need. Okay, so for part B, 83.7 microcoulombs.